guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i want to share with you some watercolor tips and techniques to create these easy and beautiful landscapes this tutorial is intended for beginners and focuses on two types of washes mainly a two color wash and a variegated wash both wet on wet so let's get started firstly i'll begin by telling you about the supplies i have used winsor and newton cotman watercolors Synthetic round brushes from Bohemia and Winsor & Newton, Canson Excel Cold Press 300 GSM watercolor paper, masking tape and kitchen towel for this tutorial. The link for all the materials I have used can be found in the description below. Now let's get straight into the painting. As you can see I have taped down my A4 watercolor sheet using a frock tape and split it into two halves. I have wet the first half of the sheet and I am preparing the colors for my washes. We will be doing a variegated wash on this one. I have prepared a magenta color using some alizarin crimson hue and ultramarine blue. So I will begin by dropping in some ultramarine blue. I am using a size 8 brush and just going from left to right and right to left. Now I will drop in some magenta color and just kind of mix it up with ultramarine blue. As the paper is still wet we won't get any hard edges adding in some cadmium red color and lastly we'll add some cadmium yellow and before we work on this any further it's a good idea to just let it dry and come back to it once it's completely dry for any further highlights or details so meanwhile we'll start working on the second half of the sheet I'm wetting the surface again with a flat brush and this time I'll be choosing just two colors cadmium red and cadmium yellow so just start by using the cadmium red, red wash and now I'm dropping in some cadmium yellow color and I'm just letting it merge with the cadmium red so this is a two color wash and I will just intensify colors once this is completely dry I'm just wiping off any excess water from the edges so that it doesn't seep back into the paper and create puddles. And I'm also lifting up some paint from here to create an effect of the sun using a kitchen towel. Now the first layer for the first landscape is now dry and I'm re-wetted the surface and I'm adding some more darker color just to intensify them. So I've added ultramarine blue. I've also added a bit of permanent rose. And I'm just using the same colors again. Okay, so I'm reworking on the second landscape, re-wetting the surface. And I'm just going to add those two colors that I used earlier. So you can really experiment with this and use any colors you like. As we see a varied range of colors when it comes to sunset okay so my sheet is apparently dry but I noticed that the first landscape obviously perhaps is not completely dry that's why the color is tending to have those blurry edges which obviously I don't want because I want to paint wet and dry so I just leave it for now and I started working on the other landscape now this as you can see is giving me some really fine edges because the paper is completely dry so the main purpose of the tutorial was to show you how to do a variegated wash and a two color wash but then I just thought why not turn these into landscape by adding pre silhouettes to it and I'm just using a ivory black color and a thin brush to paint these silhouettes which are quite easy I mean this is just wet and dry because we want to get fine edges so my first landscape is completely dry now and I'm coming back to it so I'm currently using a size 6 brush and as you can see the branches are thicker at the bottom and they just thin as they go towards the top so I'm just wearing the pressure and changing the orientation of my brush so as I go upwards I tend to make it completely vertical and I get thinner branches this way I'm 
now using a regular brush size 2 to paint really thin branches and it's easier to paint longer branches using a regular brush. So now I just thought of adding some additional bushes in the foreground where the tree is using a fan brush and I just used some ivory black color, dipped the brush into it and I'm just wearing the direction of the brush, just painting some strokes bottom upwards and you can get really realistic effect using this fan brush and this fan brush is really handy for painting some foliage as well some dense bushes so as you can see in the second landscape I'm just using the fan brush to paint that those thick dense branches on the street So you can vary the value of black color so some places it's lighter tone some places it can be thicker paint and then you can get some variation to give it a realistic effect i'm now using a size one brush to add some more darker areas painting the foreground so I'm now using a mix of Indian red and ivory black and I just diluted the color a bit and I'm creating some distant bushes and I'm now wetting in my brush in clean water and just going on top of it to create a effect of distant hills This gives a bit of depth to my painting and I'm darkening the foreground bushes now. Just adding in some final touches to the tree, some additional branches here and there. I just felt that the yellow around the sun is not bright enough. So I just went around the sun with lemon yellow color and I am now using a wet brush just to soften the edges. I'm just making sure that I do not have any hard edges and just spreading it around. You need to make sure that you do not touch the tree while doing this or you could just lead to some accidents. My painting is now complete. So much for watching this video i hope you have enjoyed it if you liked watching this video please do subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to get notified about future videos i love to hear your comments so please leave a line in the comment section below and tell me how you found this tutorial i will see you in another tutorial very soon bye for now